Hey, read that real quick. What's your name, sir? Sir. All right, sir. Sherman. Okay, all praise. Read it. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. So the Bible says the Lord, God, is a man of war. Not soft. Not bondy like, you know, Christianity teaches us. Christianity says that, that, that Jesus is going to come back with dolphins, trees, sunshine, and rainbows and give hugs and candy to everybody. The Bible says God is a what? The Lord is a man of war. And this was right after the Passover, which we just celebrated. Right? This was right after God, by the hand of Moses, sent Moses to redeem the children of Israel out of slavery. And what happened to the people that enslaved the Israelites? What happened to them? No. They died. God killed them in the form of plagues and in the form of drowning they behind in the Red Sea for, for what they was doing to his people. Right? So if God would kill people that enslave another people, what you think he gonna do to the people that enslaved us? Who, who? I'm gonna say something, who? Because we are those same people. Right. The same people that God sent Moses, hey, get my people out of Egypt and then kill the people that enslaved them. We are those same people. This is why in America, they, they have all of the same uh, products of Egypt. They have the, the Washington Monument, which is an obelisk. They have pyramids over here on the back of the dollar bill. They got a, what they got a pyramid in the IRA on, on some American money. What Egypt got to do with America? Slavery. Teach. And the people that are enslaved are the same people that were enslaved in ancient Egypt that were redeemed by the hand of Moses. Right. No, we were not supposed to uh, be slaves. We were supposed to be gods and rulers on the earth. That's what we were supposed to be. We only became slaves because we didn't do what God told us to do. Let's, let's get that. Get that and do it around me, 20 chapter. Right? Watch this. I'm going to show you that. Right? Because we got these signs down here. Because we were supposed to be gods. On, matter of fact, get, get Revelations, was it 1 and 6? Right? Get that first. Then I'm going to show you the, the, the other part here. Because we were supposed to be rulers. You're a son of God. I'm a son of God. We are supposed, you're not supposed to die. You're not supposed to be subject to a woman being able to call a white man on you and put you in jail. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your woman here in America got more power than you. Because if you don't do what she tell you, she's going to call 9-1 white people. You understand? But that's not how it's supposed to be. She knows she got that. That's why she talk her, her junk like she do. Right? But it takes a special kind of man to be able to put that type of woman in subjection. Period. Because you the prize, not her. Right. You the prize. You know how we know we the prize? Because every every nation want the black man. They just they just want you to die and they have your traits. Right? They want your traits without you here. Right? And and, and you are the first pick. You you dominate everything. You rule everything except for the world. You understand? Read what you got. Revelation chapter 1, verse 6. Read. And have made us. Kings and priests. Kings and priests. The Bible says God made us a nation of kings and priests. We call each other kings, but we live in the projects. We call each other kings, but we sell dope to each other. We call each other kings, but we sleep with each other's women. We don't take care of our kids. Our women run around here in blue and purple and drag queen hair. Like the stuff, I, the way our sisters dress today is drag queen. The big eyelashes and the, the color on their face and, you know, the Picasso on their face and the fake hair and the Cardi B's. That's drag queen, uh, drag queen apparel. Right. They dress in, the, they dress in the look like men today. So what you're saying is Yeah, absolutely. You understand? Read it again. Revelation chapter 1 verse 6. And hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him. Be glory and dominion forever and ever. And Amen. That, and if that's his dominion, that's our dominion too. Uh, Proverbs uh, 8 and 4. Watch this. Proverbs 8 and 4. You said something heavy, it starts with us. When you stop falling for this nonsense, they're going to stop uh, agreeing with this nonsense. Your women and your children. You know, your women and your children. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. No, to the women. O men. I call. The Bible says to the men I call. That's that's for on, on purpose. Unto you, O men, I call. Meaning God. Read. And my voice is to the sons of men. To the who? The 
are sons of men. That's why you're standing here listening to the Bible. You grew up in church, right? Mama grabbed you by the ear and drug you in church, right? right? But why today you stop right here to listen to the Bible, to listen to a bunch of loud, crazy Negroes read and scream out the Bible? Because it's, it's more than that. Today. Exactly. It's more, but read it again. Unto you, O oh men, I call. Because God's voice called out to you, one of his sons, read and my voice is to the sons of man. You ever heard that scripture that says, uh, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me? That's what Christ said. That's what that is. You heard the Bible is more than just a book to you. And God called to you, a man, his son, and you heard it. Right? Uh, drop that. What you got? Oh, yeah, you read every day. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture. Meaning the leaders. Meaning the leaders. Women ain't leading nothing over here. Right. You understand? You, I know you. I know we're accustomed to seeing Black Lives Matter. We accustomed to seeing that that loud black woman with the weave in her hair. No justice. No peace. No justice. No. That's nonsense. That ain't gonna clean up the community. That ain't gonna make a grown man pull his pants up on his waist and stop showing his, his underwear. Right. That's right. not gonna make a man stop shooting a man that look like him. That's not gonna make a man take care of himself. It's not gonna make a man tell his woman stop walking out the house dressed like that. Bring it you out! better than that. Put some damn clothes on. Why you dressed like that? Who you trying to, whose attention you trying to get dressed like that? Why you wanna dress like that? Why you wanna put clown makeup on your face? No, no justice, no peace ain't gonna fix that. You know what's gonna fix that? The men saying, hey, son, Pull your damn pants up. What the hell is wrong with you? That come from prison. You, you a homosexual? You want a man running up in your rectum? Fix that. Men won't fix that. The men of war that God said you are are going to fix that. Read it again. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. Our, our, our women. Are men. Our babies uh -huh. running around here shooting uh, the community up. Young boys, 15, 17, 16, 19 year old boys running around here shooting at each other. Endangering you, endangering me, endangering our kids. Who gon' is no no justice, no peace gonna fix that? And why they only wanna yell that when the white people shoot? Why they don't do that when we up here in Mosby, right? Do niggas shoot up here? Where the hell black lives? Where the women? No justice, no peace. No, where they at? When 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 Tay Tay and, and whatever the hell his name is shooting each other out here in Mosby. Jeez. Where they at then? They ain't nowhere because that ain't important to them. Black lives don't matter to them until a white man do it. And they, it can be politicized. Money, big money, big white money can get involved in it now. That's when your life is important. When a white man kill you, they can put your name on a damn t-shirt and make you a damn uh, a spectacle. Right. They don't even know you, but now they making big money off of your dead ass because a white man done killed you. Meanwhile, just up the hill, niggas up here shooting every damn day. Right. Teach. Nobody out here protesting that. Nobody out here telling them kids, stop shooting at each other. Put the damn dope away. Go get a damn job like a man. Take care of your responsibility like a man. These boys ain't got fathers. You the fathers. You got to step up. You got to say enough of this nonsense. We don't live here. I live somewhere else. But I hate it here. I grew up just like this and I hated it. I hated it. I teach my son. I, I dare my son walk out here and, and pu uh, pull a gun on somebody. I dare my son walk out here and pitch a dope. I will whoop his ass and mean it. There you go. And mean it. And I don't care what age he is. Because he know better than that. He was raised better than that. We deal with our sons. Because we don't want our sons out here. Deal with your sons. And it don't mean just your sons. All these little babies running around here. Them your sons. Jeez. The sisters out here raising them and they, they can't raise them. There you go. What, what a woman going to do with a, with a 12 year old that's his, her height taller than her. That's right. Bigger than her, stronger than her. You gotta do it. Give me that in, in uh, what is it, the Jeremiah? Uh, they was lead the cause of the air. You said something heavy and we're gonna address it. it. The men gotta step up first. I know, I know what, I know the world done said the black man ain't ish. That's not what God said. God look like you. Christ look like you. The Bible said that you're a nation of kings and priests. Kings and priests, gods upon the earth. You ain't supposed to die. You ain't supposed to get sick. You ain't supposed to get shot by a white. A white man that's weaker than you, that the son to kill his ass. But he can kill you. But he gotta sit up here and sit in the tanning booth so the son don't burn his ass up. And you subject to him. China man, little and frail. I ordered something online not that long ago from, from over there in China. 3X. That time got there, that thing was the size of my, my youngest son. I'm a, you bigger, your a 3X to you is a mountain type of pair to, to them. You mighty embedded in him in every way, except here. Right. Read it again. Or read what you got. 
Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12 As for my people Children are their oppressors Them, them niggas sitting up there up that hill Shooting at each other They oppressing you They'll rob you if you walk out here At a certain time of night They'll rob you or shoot you if you don't live around here They sleeping with your woman They'll kill your kid They'll pitch dope to your children To your mothers, to your fathers They the ones that's oppressed Children are oppressing you 15 year olds, 19 year olds, 20 year olds 12 year olds doing it for the gram, doing it for clout because they want somebody to see them read and women rule over them and they raised by single mothers right and they raised by single mothers after that we're going to get the menstrual woman you know what i'm talking about second second measures four and like eight or something like that right five. right five and eight right right after that right but listen listen carefully the babies are the one that's that's messing up the communities and read oh my people they which lead thee, they which lead you, cause thee to err. The black woman leading the community and the, the, the terrible, bad children leading the community. Because you ain't there. We got to do better. You absolutely right. We got to do better. Because our babies out here dying and our women don't know what, what to do with them and how to fix them. Because we ain't doing it. We got to fix it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.